thought I'd come on, have a latte day with you all, and just share a few things that are coming up for me. This could, I suppose, be categorized in the money, money, money playlist, because I do want to continue to explore this topic of money, because just like love, money has that ability to show us our shadow and to bring up stuff that's asking for light and healing. And well, I'm in this with you. I am not immune. <laughs> like any human, <laughs> we are not immune to uh, the experience of life. Even if we have tools and we have experience and we have knowledge of the mind and thought and consciousness and the subconscious mind. And I started to investigate my own layers uh, with money. And this is how I have gotten to where I've gotten to in my career with just working with so many thousands of people and you know it's so many sessions in the mind and really understanding my own mind and spending time in myself and observing the way that I react and respond to different external stimuli internal thinking as well and with this whole money thing one of the themes around it or one of the the layers is the shadow and the stuff that is asking for our love and asking for light and even just asking for awareness and this is what's coming up for me today <laughs> you know, it can be try it can be trying even when you have awareness even when you have an understanding it can be really trying because sometimes i think it's harder when you're aware harder when you know better or when you let's say have the intellectual knowledge and awareness around a topic or yourself even and it's so um difficult sometimes to get those two parts into alignment and something I've been really noticing because I've been on an investigation myself into what would be some of these operating in the background ways of thinking ways of looking at things and especially ways of feeling around things with money and so one thing I noticed for myself, now, you can let me know if you think that this is even related to money, because it really just hit me right before I made this video, like, this is one of those things that affects the money vibration, and maybe it isn't. But as it was coming up for me today, I noticed that when challenges start to come up or or like, especially around how I feel about delivering uh, quality service, which is a, a value of mine, uh, or letting someone down or disappointing someone or someone not quite getting what they expected, even though intellectually, I know that happens all the time, especially in the work with healing, and especially in the subconscious mind, because often folks will feel like, it would look like a total instant improvement if the work was working. Whereas oftentimes that's how it feels after the first session. But then as we delve into the mind and into the depths and into the layers, stuff has to come up. Like the feelings or the discomforts that we've been avoiding or even our mind learned to avoid by creating anxiety um,
there's often a lot of deep emotions underneath there. And then when things seemingly get worse or the deep emotions arise and come up, it can feel like it's not working. It can feel like the healing's not working or if you're seeing someone, it can feel like who you're seeing isn't helping or the treatment's not helping. And I mean, I've seen this hundreds, if not thousands of times. Um, and this is the difficult part of healing. This is the difficulty of being still in the dark night of the soul, in the part of ourselves where we are having to process, having to feel through, having to release that which is no longer helpful. Well, and not only is it not helpful, it's probably causing the pain, the symptoms, the illness, the disease. <laughs> and then the money, because this is the thought I had, because I started to get uncomfortable around uh, just some, some discomfort that was coming up for me around people pleasing, because I am a, I am a, uh, I would like to say I'm a recovering people pleaser, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm quite there yet. <laughs> Because I found, I find that even just ancestrally and culturally, I have really taken on a lot of um, tendencies to people please and not even just people please, but like keep the peace in that sense. And not, you know, I learned very early on to not express my true thoughts and feelings because it would have consequences. And so even me just being here on this channel, uh, making these videos every day is part of that. It's part of my uh, uncaging my voice and having the valor to share what I know because I truly feel that my experiences and my work and my life and the healing that has that I have like done over the past 25 years um, has value to others. And I, if it could even help one other person going through this, I am meant to be here and I'm meant to express myself. And I'm meant to do that at all costs at this point. And so that's the kind of discomfort that comes up for me still that I'm feeling through and that I am looking to no longer avoid. And so my first instinct is to kind of reach for something outside of myself or someone or something or um, yeah, something to do, something to watch, something to eat, something to drink, something, someone to call, someone to cry to, you know, whatever it is, excuse me. <laughs> and I don't do that, right? And it's not that I feel like I can't. It's not that I'm saying I don't deserve support or anything like that. I'm not saying that. It's just that I know the difference. I know the difference generally <laughs> when, when asking for help is the best thing to do to love myself. And when feeling through this discomfort is the best thing to do for myself. And that's what's happening today. <laughs> So here's how I connect it to money. Like it hit me today as I was kind of feeling through it. And I'm like, because what happens is when I feel that feeling like I'm about to be ostracized or, and this has happened to me before in my life, but like, as soon as I feel that feeling like, oh no, someone's unhappy with me, or like I've upset someone, or I've said something that's going to like now like cause me to be in ruin. I'm going to lose everything. Like it's quite catastrophic actually. <laughs> but as soon as I feel that, I, uh, I get in, in a total fear of, and a lack mentality 
like I think oh my god it's all gonna fall apart like I, everything's just gonna crash like I did it I, I I'm in trouble you know I said the wrong thing <laughs> and it's not even always just about what I said it's just like a feeling that I get and I think that this feeling is really uh, you know like feeling through this feeling is the key to releasing it and then releasing it in my opinion is the key to opening more of the floodgates of abundance which is money as well also money because that fear of uh, ruin and lack and then somehow that somehow I come back to or like yeah I come back to this idea like oh right it's all on me for my abundance and my survival and if I do something wrong oh this is good this is good this is why I wanted to talk it out so it's like if I do something wrong then I'm I'm going to fail. And then if I fail, I won't be able to pay my rent and feed my son. And it's like in that moment, I forget that, nah, that's not true. Everything is always working out for me. And, and it, I get back to my inner being and my inner being was like, nah, you're good. Remember, you don't have to try so hard. And in fact, trying so hard is the problem most of the time. And my inner being is kind of saying, what? like, you know better. You know that you always have what you need when you need it. And in fact, standing in your truth and being in your truth is what brings it. Like, I have no doubt that following my purpose and really listening to my heart and making the hard decisions that come along with that got me to here, you know, got me to the success that I have. Because as if we listen, if we really listen, we're never going to be uh, without. Now, this doesn't mean that we have everything that we want, because this is where I think the money comes in too, right? Because this doesn't mean that we have everything that we want. That's where I think uh, people get mixed up. You know, people get mixed up with the law of attraction, thinking they should just be attracting everything they want or they're doing it wrong, but that's not true. Because the true law of attraction is that you trust, you know, that you're going to have everything that you need. And what you need often is way better than what you want anyway, because you don't even know how great it can be. And you don't even know what you really need along the way to get you there. And so this is you know, this is why I think it's really connected to money, because when we have those feelings, and if we do um, get caught up in the thinking or the old programming, or the letting it cause us to feel bad about ourselves or think that we did something wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, like, this doesn't mean there's no challenges or that I might not, you know, I can still say something that somebody won't like, and that's still a challenge for me to feel through and live through. And, and, you know, um, it happens. It, it's, it's a reality. There's, there's going to be people, there might even be people watching this that disagree. Right. It more means that we know that, you know, that that's like that shadow that I spoke of before that trigger. Like, I know that when I feel this, that, oh, there's some shadow stuff there. And we're in eclipse season. So this is a really great time to do that shadow work. And I know when I feel that, that, oh, something is coming up for me. And there's some wisdom here for me on my path to greater abundance and really cleaning up my money energy. And, uh, It, it, it can feel like a lot, you know, it can feel like a lot. And I, a lot of times we don't know what to do with that. And I actually don't think that there's much to do except really be aware, you know, really be aware of what's coming up for you. 
because I felt like, oh, like I just wanted something outside of myself so bad to make that feel better. And then I sort of realized I don't have anything because not how it works. And then once I got to that point, I went, I was like, right, this is just for me to feel through and grow through and maybe even share through as I go, because it creates tension. And when there's tension, there's less flow. And when there's less flow, there's less money, there's less, there's all the less of the things that we don't want. There's less connection, there's less love, there's less everything. Because then we get afraid and then we think it's on our shoulders and then we try to control things. And then we're in this whole cycle that we don't even realize trying to control things and figure things out and like make things happen and then not die, like not, not be in let, like not, okay, like evicted you know because of all this whole uh story this whole picture this whole future that we created based on a negative feeling that doesn't even exist oh i thought i saw the rabbit and and so yeah I really think that could affect our money in a big way. Oh, I think it was like a different type of wild animal. Just, I don't know what that was. <laughs> and thank you everyone for being here. I am, I, in, my, in my card reading last night, I really did see more clearly that valor is is a is a is a ingredient is an ingredient that's really necessary for my work moving forward and i and i think it's really necessary for any of you that want to really open up to abundance because there's one thing in just imagining what you want and visualizing it and like seeing yourself having it and then there's a whole nother thing to just completely surrendering to it, you know, to just surrender, to be willing to go through the discomfort that might come up as a result of your shadow giving you the opportunity to let things, the things that need to come to light, come to light. And once they come to light, like the discomfort is less and the how it affects us is less. So what I got from this today, thank you very much for letting me talk this through. And you know, what I got from this today was like one, like, okay, everything is okay. Uh, two, I have some work to do around that that tension that I feel when I fear for my survival. And three, this is connected to money. <laughs> so that's all for today. Hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is on the money playlist. So if you want to keep up with my money story, that would be the best one to follow. Um, or to go, come to, uh, but I'll share it on my public page and then add it to the money playlist. So thank you again so much for being here. Ciao for now.